Well, here I am at the Trujillo Adobe House. You can't really tell what it is. It took me a good 20 minutes to find this place. Uh, it's around like uh, big companies in the middle of nowhere really and how on earth is anybody gonna see this adobe house it's chained up i don't know if i can climb up here hold on let me try this i hope i don't get in trouble it's in the corner of orange and center as you can see there's nothing around here just like business plazas or centers for like trucks and stuff like that this is high grove riverside area let me try jumping up here good thing i wore my tennis shoes ah! all right so there it is let's see if i can get close up in there this is a trujillo adobe house the important thing about this is that in the 1800s the Trujillo family came and settled here. They built an irrigation system, the first church, the first school in the area. And this is all that's left of a huge town. Started here around the Colton area, High Grove now. Um, and so this is what's left. And the reason for the Tamales Festival is to raise funds for awareness of this place and the education of the people around here so they can know their history and how this area got started. And without the public support, there's no way to get the word across. So that's why we need your guys' support coming out to the Tamales Festival in Riverside, California, just to raise funds and awareness that this place is um, even here. I never knew it was here and I live around the area but uh, I know a lot of people from the area who I've never even heard them mention this place so guys come out and support the Riverside Tamales Festival let's keep uh, our heritage alive here it will be April 18th 2015 from 11 to 7 p.m. join us for some good tasty tamales but obviously the main reason is to uh, raise funds for this place kind of sad when you see history go to waste and it just be abandoned and sitting here in the 70s they were promised that they would build a park around this place so people can come by and visit it it was actually donated to the county of riverside to be part of the county parks and uh well here it is chained up in the middle of nowhere really i passed through the street like three four times and not once did i even think that that could be it Let's not let history die down, guys. Let's keep it alive. La historia continua.